Greetings. The moon continues today in Libra. Libra is a sign of relationships. It's the sign of the peacemaker, as I was saying yesterday. Uh, I, I shared a little bit about Libra and bringing balance into your life in yesterday's video for Thursday, August 8th. So I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Friday, August 9th, and we are looking at this continuation of Libra moon energy. So the moon is the mood of the day, and in Libra, we have the moon in an air sign, but specifically an air sign that has to do with relatedness. And so we're thinking about themes of how we get along with others and the value of relationship, the value that comes into our lives when we have that balance of an outside perspective. So I talk a lot on this uh, channel about authenticity being your best self, expressing your true self, um, being who you are, knowing more about who you are, and expressing who you are. And we are, of course, in the Leo moon cycle, so we're thinking about self-expression. But it's important to remember that our own experience of ourselves, our own deeper truth, is something that we get a deeper look into through the eyes of someone else, <laughs> the outside perspective. And um, it's actually just, to me, it is so in intriguingly profound to think about how you could spend an entire lifetime just meditating on the difference between one and two. <laughs> <laughs> because when it is one, you are you are everything, right? Everything is your world and you are everything. But then suddenly when you are two, your perspective changes. And so we have the value of the experience of relationship. And uh, we are uh, considering this experience of how we bring balance into our lives and how we know ourselves more deeply because we have relationships with others. So um, can people outside of us be annoying? <laughs> yes. Uh, relationships are famous for, you know, having to get along with someone who is not you, right? Someone who has a different perspective. But what is the value of that? Of course, the value of that is that you get to share. You get, not only do you get to share experiences with another person, but you get to create them together with another person. Another person who thinks about things differently who uh, has ideas you would never have by yourself, <laughs> who uh, might see something from an angle or a perspective that's just not the way you usually see things. So, uh, so relationships bring tremendous value into our lives. And, and relationships are work uh, because we have to get really clear about who we are to show up in a relationship and uh, really make the most of it. And by relationship, I mean any kind of relationship. So your romantic relationship, your primary relationship, but also your friendships, your uh, business acquaintances, you know, people who are in your daily life, whether you chose them or not, they just are there and you have to get along with them. Sometimes it's the most challenging personalities that teach us the most and really push us the most to gain in uh, strength and skills to be who we are. So the Libra moon and the vibe of, you know, the mood of the day with the moon in Libra reminds us how important it is to um, put the effort in to bring 
into your life the value of these relationships. And sometimes we have to have boundaries, right? Not all relationships are meant to last forever. <laughs> and sometimes they need to end or we need to have a clear boundary, whether it's a friend or a romantic partner or or whatever, right? Sometimes there is uh, an end to things. Other times there are beginnings. Other times there are times when we recognize that in our relationship, um, we are learning and growing through, uh, you know, figuring out how to get along together. And that's what I want to talk about today. So, um, so the common ground that we need to find is what is going to help us create balance. So it's about finding common ground, um, common things, things that we have in common and our, um, our experience of how we get along with another person is also relevant. So if you find that you are a kind of person who tends to say, oh, okay, we'll do what you want, or um, I'll listen to your your way of doing things because it's just easier or it makes me feel more comfortable or whatever, you might need to speak up a little bit more. You might need to take up a little more space to bring balance into that relationship, you see? Um, so with Libra, we can have a tendency to compromise. Compromise is, is fine. Compromise is a great thing, right? It allows us to work together. Sometimes we shouldn't be so attached, you know? It's not always my way or the highway. <laughs> Sometimes uh, we need to hit, say, hey, that is my preference, but I'm willing to let go of that for the sake of the greater good. And so that is what we are recognizing here with the moon in Libra is what is the greater good? How do we need to bring things into balance and learn more about ourselves and have that deeper look into who we are through the eyes of or the experience of um, an outside perspective, someone we trust, someone we care about, someone we respect, or maybe someone who's difficult and challenging and we get to figure out you know, how we need to respond to that energy in a healthy way, in a way that's healthy for us. And sometimes that might be saying, mm, nope, uh-uh, not doing that. Other times it might be saying, yeah, I recognize you're here in my daily life, so I'm going to figure out ways <laughs> to make it work. Um, so either way is fine. It's all about where do you need balance in your relationships to bring in more fully the value of that relationship. And so I was saying, you know, often we need to compromise uh, or we find ourselves compromising and realize, hey, that's not real balance. <laughs> it's not real balance if I'm being a people-pleasing doormat. So real balance would look like me speaking up more, right? Or taking up more space. But on the other hand, it could be out of balance because um, we're being me, 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 right? If I'm being uh, totally only seeing things from my own perspective, not really caring about what the other person thinks or feels, not seeing things through their eyes or, you know, that old saying of walk in another person's moccasins or <laughs> shoes or whatever the saying is. So sometimes we need to get out of our own perspective, right? And we might need to speak a little less, take up a little less space and listen a little more, give someone else a little bit more space, get curious, say, hey, what do you think about that? How would you like to do that? Um, how, what, you know, what does that make you feel? <laughs> so again, you know, it's all about balance and the greater good. So checking in, asking yourself, what is the greater good? And uh, that is what will help you make the most of the Libra energy, thinking about what you share, where you are learning from each other, what is the greater good, where do you need to get better at showing up in healthy ways, balanced ways, um, letting go in some cases, or taking up more space in other cases, 
to uh, bring out the potential of the relationship because just like each of us has our own you know soul's journey relationships have their own path and their own trajectory and their own um, peaks and valleys and bumps in the road and all those things so where is uh that where is the need in you know whatever relationships are showing up for you in your life during this libra moon for some thought, some attention, some care, some love, and uh, trusting that the process is leading you exactly where you need to go. Hopefully that's helpful. Thank you so much for being here. I am Marina Orms. My website is astrologyheals.com. Thanks for being here and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you next time. I'm here every day with Astrology for Unshakable self-care and looking at the moon and the moon sign and how we can make the most of it every day. All right. See you next time. Bye for now.